Welcome back to the Road to Super Sonic Legends series. We had episode number four today, and in the last episode, we ended up at Diamond 2 after placement. So not a bad position to start off. Um, we got a lot of work to do here to make it up into the champ ranks. Uh, but this is the most, I think, average rank. I was looking at the, the distribution. About 12% of people are in Diamond 1, Diamond 2. So a lot of people are stuck at this rank. Hopefully this episode can help you uh, move up in diamond and get into the uh, the champ ranks if you are here anyway But of course before we get into the games We got to do the meme of the day and for today Ben Carson has an amazing one apparently Jack Black So let's make this photo real quick All right, so I have a photo of Jack Black here and I have apparently Jack as well All I got to do is combine these two faces shouldn't be a problem. So let's start with trying to match the faces together Let like the size of them. So I'm gonna go with like opacity here and try to match up the mouth and angle of the eyes Okay, it looks like it needs to be a little bigger. That should probably do it. It looks a little weird right now, but trust me, it'll it'll work out. All right, we chop away. Just chop away. It's looking pretty good. Oh, we got a double eyebrow. I need to make the face a little bigger. We'll see if that works. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I will admit this is not this is not my best work. <laughs> Not my best work, but we're making it happen. Let's get some of the scruff back in there. Actually, honestly, it's not that bad. I, I, I it, 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 it's, it's working for me. And what I will do real quick is just match up the skin tone. Okay, honestly, now looking at it, I'm pretty proud of this. <laughs> I'm not very good at face swapping or face morphing, but I feel like this is pretty good. This is apparently Jack Black. I hope you guys enjoy this one. Like I said, make sure to drop a comment down below what you guys want me to make the next meme of the day. I'm really having fun with these. These are, these are super fun. I'm glad we're bringing these back after two years. All right, for the first game, we got a big pasta uh, versus 120 Hertz Diego and Cabin YC. So pretty good lineup here of, of names. Hopefully I can remember how to say them all. <laughs> I mean, Cabin, I'm going to call him, I don't want to call him Cabin EC, but maybe it is. Oh, that's a bit advanced. My bad. I actually totally like zoned out there for a second. Good play by my teammate. I'm waiting mid here. The rule is still not to, uh, you know, score anything that's like over, overly crazy, but sort of just find a good position, go for a flick, see what happens. Good position for my teammate. Good follow up as well. Maybe a follow up here. Can you get it? And that's a good setup. That's a, I like, like I said, I should be scoring those ones. People are saying that uh, if my teammate makes a really good play, which this is insane, by the way. He didn't even use any boost. He just kind of landed on it. Um. People are starting to flip towards the kickoff, but I'm still going to just drive because you can see this guy was also driving. Um, the way that he's doing those twists and turns, it's not super, super good idea, but I like the idea of like switching up directions on the, the kickoff. Oh, that's a good shot. So as you can see there, I was waiting for the position on the, the player that had the ball there to make a shot. Because if I wait upfield and try to go up as last man, there's a good chance. Um, Oh, that's pretty, that's actually fine. It's gonna be cabin here. I don't, I don't know um, like what people are able to do with this rank and it's really good for me to you know, be refreshed on every rank in the game. So when people ask me questions on stream or anything, I can help them out. Um, this is, oh, I could have probably scored that. Might be a shot here. I'll let my teammate go for that. As you can see, once I know that my teammate has the space, I can let my teammate go in the way and make the clear instead. I'm playing a little strange. I need to figure out what I'm doing here. I'm going to sit behind this ball and try to pop this middle. See my teammates ready. Good enough to go for that, but they both overcommitted for the shot. Good pop towards the net and good finish. So both both good plays for my teammates. Uh, my teammates so far. And a bit of an overcommit by them on the, uh, the back end on their team. So I'm going to cheat up lightly here. You can grab a few pads either uh, on the side there or in middle. As you can see, I'm already at... I don't even need that back corner. Um, this guy, I, it definitely would have been smart for me to take it um, because that guy was under the ball. It's always a matter of like where the opponents are too, um, whether you should take uh, the boost or if you know that your teammate's the next one to get it. But my teammate's honestly playing really well and he's uh, finding easy breakaways um, off of them piling up in the corner. I, I couldn't really tell what the, who was the, uh, the one making the mistake there, but someone needs to make sure they're not diving into the corner as soon as um, their teammate challenges. Now, I can't really go back to the, the corner boost there because if I do and they make an immediate shot back left corner here, um, it's going to be really dangerous. And uh, you always want to make sure you cover all options as, po as much as possible. I mean, sometimes you just can't. Um, but look how much space I have here as well. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try and draw them in. See what happens. He's not coming forward. 
So right there, what I should have done to go around is, is once I see the guy uh, challenging, uh, to basically uh, pop the ball to the left. My teammate wasn't quite ready for that anyway, but um, it's definitely a better option than getting dunked like I did. So I'm just kind of waiting to see what they do. Right here, this is an awkward ball. We can see what they do with the touches. They don't go. And then I can go in for the challenge. I do bump the one guy, but Pasta should have a ball. He got a little bit hesitant, though. It's going to be a good finish. Oh. Yeah, nice. Good finish. I'm gonna. Uh, he, he definitely should be rewarded for that. It was a bad 50-50 by my teammate. Um, right here, he caught onto it. He just didn't come at the ball. He got scared of me clearing it. So Pasta was watching that. I'm curious what he's, what he's thinking about that one. <laughs> I'm going to flip forward, then try to get in the way of the ball. The more that I get central on that, the more it's going to clear around to the left there. And so you can sort of um, think of uh, the when the kickoff is the most easy to understand 50-50 in the game because it's a stationary ball. It gets way more complicated when there's more moving parts. I'm going to boost a little bit so that way the ball is um, uses a bit. Uh, or I use a bit of boost that way I can take the, the corner. All right, so good 50 50 but i'll explain what i was talking about um after this game in paint for a second good clear from them it's gonna go up the wall but as you can see i have lots of space i don't need to go right away i can draw one of them in first and pop it around them and uh the best thing to do right there would probably be to back pass my teammates made a really good challenge once again if he makes a cut here this could be really dangerous the way that you want to clear with this is going for the backboard and following it up i'm gonna see if they go for a shot Ended up missing, but what I could have done there is just followed it off the backboard into mid instead of trying to go for the immediate clear. Now, I had an option to pass that to the left. There is a passing lane there um, that would go behind cabin. I cleared to the far side. There's some space. It's not the worst option in the world. Let's see if my team wants to go for this. Oh, he's staying underneath the ball. Good try on the pass. It still would have been too dangerous, um, but obviously we were up two goals, so it's not a big deal at the end of the game, but... A pretty good game there. Pasta played really well. Um, pretty much made every play on the team. Actually, he did make every play, so really well done there. Um, but yeah, let's go into paint. I'll show you guys what I mean by like the kickoff and how it, it kind of works um, at a high level. So here's the ball, and we're going to be using a top-down view for this. Um, imagine we're looking at the field uh, facing downwards here. Um, the idea is if we have some player going directly at the middle, that means all their force is going directly to the center of the ball right here. Anything that you do... Um, let's say it's the same amount of force, but you're coming off the angle. You have to add those forces together, right? So you have an angle coming in like this. You're going to get some sort of trajectory along the lines of this way, right? It's going to be coming to your side. So when someone is coming at the ball on the kickoff um, directly on uh, the middle of the ball, but you're coming off the side, the only way that's going to win is if they come in with a slower amount of force and you really force the ball. Then it'll start to go this way. But... If you get players at the higher level, they're going to be really, really fast and really push the ball um, hard um, right here, which is always going to force the ball backwards, which isn't the end of the world. Because if you have someone if you have someone back in this corner uh, going for the kickoff uh, boost in the corner and then going up the wall, that's like a perfect setup to feed it that way. Meanwhile, what you can do is I'm going to try to erase all this as much as I can. Um, what you can do is come across the ball and say like there's the kickoff positions here where you're you're off the corner and there's like two players here um this player will cheat up here and this player will go for the ball in the in the middle this guy will go back corner boost uh right here um sorry there's like a small little image of this but um the idea is if you come across from this side of the ball from the kickoff over here to the left then you can force it back left um players will start to recognize that though so if you try to feed uh like the side of your car like this uh, onto the ball to try and like create a wall that the ball can slide along after the player hits it into the into the the ball here then um, it'll feed back but if they sort of counter that and they come at the ball instead like this then what's happening is now they're hitting it flat into you that you are now a wall so it just kills all of momentum of the ball and that's sort of the theory of how to like stop the ball in mid right is reading where this player this player here is trying to block the ball or stop it and people who are trying to stop the ball will tend to like flip sideways into the ball um that way they can sort of mimic the motion of the ball and slow it down as much as possible that's a little a bit of insight into like kickoffs and stuff um the the old meta of going into the ball flat in the middle is sort of dying out and i see a lot more in the high level in ssl like people are coming in 
like if this was the kickoff over here, kickoff position here and kickoff position here, people are doing more so just straight on in, at an angle. It's not so much like looping inwards like this anymore. As much as like, because people are doing uh, speed flips and stuff, so the ball, it, the, the contact on the ball is just winning uh, because they're getting there so much faster at this point rather than using the time to go around over to the middle. So um, really just keep an eye on what the opponents are doing. Everyone's at a different level in the game, as you guys know. So you may have people doing this. Um, and then you could sort of take that to your advantage of like getting across the ball, like I said, and forcing the ball back corner to your teammate. Or you can do the opposite. And if your teammate's cheating up in middle, then you can sort of try to mimic the play so that the forces in the middle cancel out on each other. So I, I know that was a lot of explanation. I hope that some of that makes sense. I'll dive more into kickoffs more uh, down the line, but let's get back into the games. Now, like I said, this is, well, it's not really the average rank because I think like 25% of the population is in uh isn't what the heck throwback <laughs> we got an achievement for hitting the ball in urban central um as i was saying like about 25 percent of people are in diamond one diamond two it's a really good finish definitely could have just gotten in the way of that with by airling a little bit more to the ball um it was a good feed in the middle though as this guy popped it in mid like that um it's a really really good finish it's not really uh my teammate's fault no no it's i definitely gonna save that so let's see what my teammates are doing or the opponents are doing. They're also boosting towards the ball. As you can see, it forces backwards because they went center on the ball and I went slightly off to the side. So now my teammate has possession. Wait behind my teammate, see what he does. I don't need to dive into that. I can loop this ball into the wall here and, and wait uh, for the opponents to make another touch. Good follow up. So I can wait for this touch. So it just goes in the middle here. And now I have a free ball on one player. I'm gonna try and pass this to the other side. Oh. <laughs> this always happens. Um, I was trying to pass that over to my teammate, um, who was in a good position, so I was trying to follow it up. Um, but then uh, Ghost was actually coming at the ball instead of me. I thought he was trying to demo me from behind. But it was technically an own goal. Good try on that. I was going to clear this to the corner. So he pops this middle. It's over my head. I see if my teammate wants to follow this. Good try on the aerial and good finish by Public Enemy. Um, I definitely could have been there and been ready for that as well. I went for the corner boost and I definitely could have went for that without grabbing the corner boost or just going faster after getting the corner boost because it wasn't that dangerous. Uh, but a good try for my teammate to aerial for that. I'm going to go for the uh, the flip on the, the side there. I won that one because the guy didn't get a good, good enough contact on the ball. Let's see if my teammate gets in mid here. Good try on the follow up. So I'm still last here. I got to wait for the ball to spill to me. Good try. I'm going to pop it up and see if my teammate can follow it up for the finish. Nice shot. So the reason why that was a goal is because their last man overcommitted on a on a challenge right there when it's closer to me. And all I need to do is just pop it up. That's a really good area for my teammate. Really good finish. I like that he's in positions uh, to be ready for those kind of things and that he's not afraid to pop, uh, you know, pop forward. Now, I could go for this or just wait for him. Um, the idea there is that he still has possession off the side. Even though he's not the ball's not near him, it's understanding like what what possession actually means in Rocket League. Rather than like having the ball near you. Because obviously the ball is really just you know a moving uh object that is never really connected. You're not holding the ball, right? So possession is sort of a figurative term in Rocket League, where it's just like a matter of who can get to the ball first. So knowing knowing that spacing and knowing what is better, um, like what is a better position versus the two players. I'm going to try and go to the side here and pop this to my teammate. Really good block from public enemy to be ready for that. I'm going to pop this middle again. I'm going to pop it up and see what happens. It's a good try. You can still, still maybe turn or something. So once again, see how I'm positioning uh, to be ready for where he can clear it. Like he's on the left side of the ball. Oh, almost on a finish too. Um, he's on the left side of the ball going to clear it on the right. So where do I go? I go on the right before he makes the touch. So this is a good opportunity for me or if my team wants to ch challenge once again. It definitely is one of those positions where I think that he could loop away. Maybe he's not used to players being ready for that. It could just be, uh, you know, a mentality thing that, hey, I'll take control, which is fine. Good demo from Ghost as well. But like I said, I have, I have a, a clear run up on the ball. And if my teammate just wants to back out and follow up, that would be a better option. Right here, I have some space. See if he's going to come near the ball. He doesn't come near the ball. I'm going to wait for a 50-50. Now, what I could have done there is go to the right side of the ball and chip it middle in case my teammate's ready for it. But I don't think he was quite ready for that. 
Now I am last man here. I'm going to once again work on my shadow defense. Now I can challenge because I'm going to reward that my teammate tried to got, get in the way of that. Um, when he's going for that challenge, uh, it's to stop the players from advancing down the field. If he makes that challenge and I don't follow up with his challenge in midfield, um, it's going to be a wasted position of my teammate going. And that'll be on both of us that, you know, maybe he challenged too early. Maybe I didn't follow up on his touch. Like right here, I, me being ready for where he drops it is super important. Because if I don't, um, it's just a feed to them. So, fault is equally on the player who challenges and misses the challenge and the person who didn't follow up. And it's just a matter of how well can those two players together um, uh, work together. So, you're going to get uh, teammates that you don't mesh with teammates that you do mesh with really well and you know you, you seem unstoppable so you're like oh we just won so easily in this game um how is it that we lost the next one or whatever it's just maybe you work better with certain people maybe you don't see what happens here oh that could be a, that could be really dangerous for them i could have went for that that was a bad play by the guy on the backboard all right good good touch i could bump this guy or something Good try. I'm just going to get in the way. I'm not going to follow that up. I could rush down the field and try to score it. I'm going to go for this now because when the, the player is catching themselves on the wall and uh, they can't quite follow it up, it's it's going to be in my advantage to go early. Same with this one. I'm just going to pop it up backboard. Just boom it really high. See what happens. My team wants to go. It's a good try. They're panicking. He's pushing up on the ball. I'm just going to force the 50-50 into the corner and see what happens in the corner. It's over my teammate's head. So I'm just going to wait for it and go for the uh, the clear. Even though my teammate's missing, I know there's a chance he could miss. It's it's important to know that there's always that 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 option. So not a great touch here because it's going to be really awkward. That's going to be a finish too. So good finish from, from Ghost. Uh, my teammate was right behind me when I went for the, uh, the flip here. And he pushed up over that ball. I could have stayed close to the ball too, um, but he unfortunately was too too far behind the play to get in the way of that one. So a good win from them. Uh, we're still, like I said, we're going to be in Diamond 3 for quite a while, or Diamond 2, Diamond 3, um, and that just set us back to the first game. So I don't want to do that too often, uh, like open open the door for, you know, big mistakes like that, but, you know, I got to reward the, the opponents when they make good plays and they set themselves up and they were positioning really well. Um, it's really hard to know like, I don't want to be stuck down here and, you know, as people would say, ruin more games. But I'm trying to be as, you know, open as fair and fair as possible. Oh, the team went really far around the ball there. So I'm just going to wait for the ball to fall on the ground. You can wait here because the other player is not, like, afraid to challenge and, and turn into the ball. And once again, I'm just going to force 50-50 again. Oh, my teammate has some space. So that's a good pass. I'll go for the, the shot, but it's going to be over because I, I boomed it off the backboard. See so my teammate can follow it up. Big miss from uh, the opponents. Oh. What? <laughs> Excuse me? Wow. I've never seen that before. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go for the 50-50 uh, here. You can see, once again, I won that challenge because of the fact that I went on the, the left side of the ball and they didn't get a very strong contact in middle. I, I've seen a, people aerial, a few people aerial and uh, I don't really know like if I should be jumping for a lot of balls. I mean, so far, the, uh, the play hasn't been too fast in the air, but they're making touches in the air. As you can see, they're following each other up. I'm just going to jump for this. to get in the way so now that i see that the ball's rolling into their corner i can go grab their corner and then basically flip back into position i'll go for it again I, i'm not going to be on target there um it was a really good setup and it's, there's only a very very small window of opportunity uh for a goal there and i need to be ready right away it's i would say that the time the timing that i took there to go for the challenge was too late so you can see that the window of opportunity was very, very small for that. So it's whether or not you want to risk uh, making that play. And as you can see, I committed and then the ball 
fed off the backboard and then that because of that there's momentum already going down the field for the opponents to make it a shot and my teammate couldn't get back in time so that goal was on me in the fact that um i was over committing on a play that i could have waited for so i'm i could try to pass this this guy's jumping up for it though so i'm just gonna get out and let my teammate go for it instead now this is awkward because sports guy could try to dribble this he's trying to he's losing control so i'm gonna try and stay close a teammate went, so I'm going to try and get back here. This could be dangerous. Now, the way that I want to defend this is to be a goalie or be a shooter, but uh, like shoot the basically shoot on the goal, but miss <laughs> if that makes sense. So, you know, play how you would normally play defense um, or offense, but play it in defense instead. So my teammate went for that. I was trying to see if he was going to make a touch. No challenge here and try to get this in middle. My teammate went for the middle boost instead of the corner boost. It might not have been there, but still. There's a good opportunity there. This is dangerous. I am last man. I want to go for it because I saw my teammate underneath the ball. Now what's been going wrong so far is just a lot of um, uh, aggressive plays from our team. So hopefully we can change that. I'll pop it up. Probably going to be Owen here clearing it. My teammate should turn on this and try to get in the way. It's off target. So I'm just going to wait for it to be in middle here. Pop it around. Look at a uh, backflip from them. I'm going to do the job of waiting behind my teammate while um, the other team goes for the play. One thing, I'm just going to try and pop this up, but I can stay near this and get in the way again. This guy's uh, panicking. Oh, good try. Good try. I like that. I like the effort. So I was last man there, but the, once again, the guy didn't have control yet, so I felt like there was a chance I could go for the ball. Let's see if my teammate can go for it. To clear the corner. It's going to spill in the mid and it doesn't look like they're ready. So I'm going to pop this off backwards, see if my teammate can go for this. It's a good try. But as you can see, that worked out because I popped it so high that I was able to get out of the play before my teammate went for the shot. So it's all about timing based on uh, on the clears too. Now I am last man here, but see all these, back, all these front flip pops are giving us a lot of time. It's also giving the opponents time to read the play. So once again, my teammate overcommitted. So I'm going to wait in mid here. Now, I did block the direct shot on target, but the other guy went super early and actually missed, uh, which almost worked for them. I'm going to go for an aerial here and try to pop this forward. He actually could have went forward to stay with that. Um, I'm going to go for a pop off the backboard or something and then maybe go for a demo. The guy wasn't even paying attention to the fact that I was going for that. That could open the shot. Good try. But as you can see, that a lot of players uh, at this rank, they're not really being fully aware of... Um, oh, no, 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 no. Oh, my God. I mean, we are in diamond, and I definitely feel like I could start scoring, but that was not what I expected him to do. He ended up going over the ball, so there's not much I can do with that. I'm trying to anticipate what the guy was doing and going for the 50-50. I don't know why I'm complaining. We scored. I mean, it was a sort of unexpected play. It always ha Every episode, it happens, though. Good try from, um, from them. That was a really good play as well. Uh, as you can see, me being front post and being in front of them is, is not good. Obviously, as an SSL player, I have the time to react uh, react to that. But I shouldn't be uh, in that position. I should be waiting back. Um, I, saw, I only was there because my teammate was on the wall. And I thought he was going to jump out and touch it. So I could follow it up. But he did miss. And that puts me in a bad spot. So um, it's really on me still to make sure that I'm not over committing on the position. That's over my head. So I'm going to let my teammate go for this. He has a few options of what he wants to do. So he can pop it over like that. That's a decent try. But now I'm going to be alone for a second. Go for a touch. See what happens here. He might go for a pop. And we'll go to overtime. All right. So I'm going to cheat up a little bit. Last time my teammate completely missed the ball. So I'm a little bit scared to push up a lot uh, really close. Um, because he just drove past the ball on the first kickoff. Good try on the finish. So the biggest thing for me, what I've noticed from my teammate is that there's a lot of opportunities where um, we could keep possession or try to make a play that um, I'm going to try and pass this middle. Uh, it's a little bit high, but uh, there's a lot of chances where we could be keeping the ball close and making a play that isn't too dangerous. A big miss. Let's see what happens with the sports guy. All right, so I'm just going to pop this up. There's definitely an open net there a little bit, but I'm going to stay under the ball and try to pop this off the back forward. See if my teammate can go for it. Good try. Nice finish. That was really good play. So I, I basically, all I did this game was just pop the ball high a bunch of times and the opponents couldn't deal with all of them. They were a little bit awkward on positioning on the backboard and stuff. 
But my teammate play, played really well to finish off that last goal, and I'm not really sure what this LOL is about, but let's see what happens. Oh, funny goal. <laughs> yes, it was a funny goal. Hope you guys enjoyed this, this episode. I uh, hope you guys learned something from the kickoff uh, explanation. If you didn't, if it didn't make full sense, I'll, I'll clarify more in the future episodes. But until next time, have a great day. I'll catch you guys in the next one.